Hopefully you've had the opportunity now to practice a two minute engagement with a different behavior prior to moving into the historical preferred behavior that you're looking to change. So as I mentioned with my patient before, perhaps she's doing two minutes of dancing prior to reaching for that tequila, whatever it might be. I hope that you've started building that new neural network and seen the associations that we can use different behaviors to get the same felt sense. That was an intentional exercise to lead us to the next guided meditation. You see, when we're utilizing a less than preferable behavior, it's because our brain or body are, is seeking to feel a way that it doesn't have enough of. And you may have identified this core construct in that left right-handed dialogue, that writing assignment that you did. If you haven't done that writing assignment, please check out the previous video and do the assignment. It can be very illuminating to deepen our understanding of what we're seeking when we are engaging in less than preferable behaviors. So let's take a moment now and notice what it is that our brain or body is wanting more of or a new way of being in a specific moment. So usually if we have cortisol, we might want to feel relaxed or if we have an exciting event coming up, we might want to feel energized. And what we want to do is to find that D behavior, which hopefully you've already been practicing. And then we want to deepen our felt sense that I am feeling the neural network connected to the D behavior. It's wonderful to do behavior change. And as hopefully you're aware by now, neuroplasticity makes everything happen so much more quickly when we identify our, our felt sense within the behavior. So if you're reaching for the glass of wine, if you're choosing to work for an extra two or three hours rather than connecting with your spouse, perhaps you're noticing that you just rather stay in bed and relax. Notice whatever the I am statement that you get from doing those behaviors. This is the positive felt sense that your system is telling you you want more of and the connection that your brain has made to that less than preferable choice. That's the core neural, core neural network that we want to strengthen alongside the new preferable behaviors. So take a moment and reflect on when you're in the thing that you're choosing to do that, and that you're endeavoring to do less of right now, what is the dominant thought or feeling that you get? That first sip of wine, beer, or whiskey, the first toke, do they still call it tokes? I might've just dated myself. Sorry about that. The first edible, <laughs> definitely not around in, back in my early days. Um, whatever it might be, you know, the first drag off a cigarette even, if maybe that's the thing that you're seeking to change. What is that oh, feeling that you get when you do that thing? That's the I am statement that your brain wants more of. And then in the next guided meditation, we're going to take that I am and find a preferable, healthy, sustainable new way so that in that A moment of activation, your brain can certainly still go to, I'm going to do the thing, the cigarette, the marijuana, the alcohol, the hyper working, the whatever it is. And your brain also has an anchored felt sense that it can do this other thing and feel just as good.